Hi, this is Marcel of Marcel on Tech. And have you ever tried to send a video or a photo from a iPhone to a Windows laptop or device? It is a pain in the backside. Or to Android, it is a massive problem because, of course, with Apple, you've got AirDrop, which works seamlessly. And with Windows and with Android, you've got QuickShare now, which works most of the time. It's still not always great, but it does work most of the time. But I found an app that has a solution, and it is a game changer in terms of sending any file anywhere. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can do a file transfer, let's say from an Android device and from an iPhone. Now, I have found the oldest Apple device I've got, which is, of course, this classic miniature iPhone SE original. It is awesome. It still works. And to prove my point, this app still functions with this app. So it is unbelievable how well it works. And it, I'm able to send any file that I want to send to my, from my Apple device to, let's say, my Windows device. And the key is this app called Local Send. Local Send is an app that functions on both iPhone and on Android. So if I were to have my Samsung Note, the app also works on here as well. So all you have to do is make sure all the devices are on the same Wi-Fi account. So if they're all logged into the same Wi-Fi, then you'll be able to find each other. So as you can see here, my laptop, which is a Windows laptop, is titled here Handsome Sun Coconut. Now, it's just the app that I've installed and opened it up literally straight away. It has already done this. I haven't had to configure anything at all. On my iPhone, old school iPhone, so it'll work on the new ones as well, this has come up with Determined Broccoli. I love the naming system. Don't know what they mean, but they're hilarious. You go to the Send button right in the middle and you just find the media that you want. So there is a media button there. You tap on that, it'll then obviously access all of the photos that you want to send or any of the photos or videos that you have on your device. Let's say, for example, there's my gallery now. Let's say I want to select that and that video. I confirm here. Now, what it will do is it will look for devices in the area. Now, an important side note, if you have a VPN activated, which I do, then it doesn't always work because, of course, the VPN is rerouting the signal. So if you have a VPN engaged on one of the devices, switch that off, okay? So, and do that, I should be able to now find it because before I couldn't find it on here. I can now hit the refresh button and it should be able to pick up the device. Okay, so I have now refreshed it, having switched off my VPN, and you can see here that I can see my device on there. Now, if I were to do that on an Android device, exactly the same thing would happen. If I unlock my Android device, again, I've got an interesting name there called Determined Great on this occasion. I can send any video or any photo or any file from this old school device to my Android device. If I do that, I tap on it and we can send it off. Okay, the items that I have selected appear at the top. I tap on the device I want to send it to and I can now authorize the receipt of that on my other device. There, it is asking for me to allow for the transfer itself. Accept it, and there we go. Now, the progress or the speed of the transfer is dependent on your Wi-Fi signal. So if there's a lot going on, it'll be a bit slower. But if it's a good signal, good strength, and there's not too many other things on it, it can take seconds. This can transfer gigabytes worth of data in around two or three minutes, which is absolutely brilliant. I use this to transfer video content that I've created from my phone or from a tablet, onto a tablet, for example, and it is absolutely indispensable. It is so useful because I can transfer it from an iPhone, from an iPad, from um, my phone to my tablet. If I'm testing out any new devices, then it is absolutely indispensable. So it is really, really useful. Here I've got it open on my new Honor tablet that I'm testing. So I'll be able to send files either from one of the devices, which is now performing the transfer. As you can see here, this is 256 
uh, megabytes worth of data, it's gonna take about two minutes. That's because the Wi-Fi signal that I've got has got a lot going on. But if it didn't, it would transfer very, very quickly. So I, I cannot recommend this app enough. It's called Local Send. Make sure you use it. It's very, very good and it does send in full res. It's not compressing or reducing anything. It's purely device to device direct. Now, let's say I wanted to send from my Windows device to my tablet, same option applies. We've got a selection of the nearby devices here, and this is the Honor device. It even tells you that it's an Honor there, and it says Wise Onion. You can get the differentiation. You've got iPhone, Samsung, Honor selected here, and if I just select Wise Onion, I now need to choose which file I want to send. So I can select from any of my files something I want to send. Let's go to download. Let's say I want to send one of my thumbnails. I can send that straight on over to the device here. So now it's going to pop up and it's going to ask me if I want to receive this item. I'm going to send it to Wise Onion. And there we go. You can see here, I want to send that file. I accept it very small file that so transfers extremely quickly, usually much quicker than that, but today it seems to be a bit slow, but I would highly recommend that you use this device in order to send images, files, and videos between all the manufacturers. Absolutely indispensable, can't recommend it enough. If you found that helpful, please put a comment below. would really appreciate the feedback. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you very, very soon in my next one. Bye-bye for now.